Ride shotgun with Andrew Cotton on his incredible journey through the heart of an epic winter season, navigating intense highs and extreme lows in his attempt to ride the biggest waves on the planet. At the start of January 2014, a storm of biblical proportions came roaring across the Atlantic, creating what was to be termed the Black Swell. Experts were predicting huge amounts of storm damage, as well as the biggest waves ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean. Fuck, it's going to rain, isn't it? Right now, this thing looks monstrous. It's going to be it. I can't even put numbers in it. With a final 36-hour countdown to the swell's arrival and only one window of opportunity to surf this swell at its peak, Andrew is forced to start travelling immediately, either to Nazare in Portugal to meet Garrett McNamara, who might be flying in from Hawaii, Bellara in France, or Mullard Moorhead in Ireland. Oh, you'd have to get on a ferry or get on a plane. <sighs> no, something I fuck this up. The swell's huge and just got one chance of it. Nazareth is not on, it's, it's too cross shore, it's too windy. Bahara is like a massive possibility, but the, the tides are terrible, and the winds are kind of funky, but Malapur is offshore all day, so I think let's go Malapur. Mullachmore is a hard place to like as a wave. It's a beautiful town, it's a harbour town, but the wave is very uh, extreme and it's very dangerous. It's not perfect, it's got plenty of ledges and lumps and bumps and you do get some severe beatings out there. I've had some of the heaviest waves in my life there. I've had some of the worst wipeouts. I've written off skis there. Do you know what I mean? I've learned to sort of drive the jet ski there. You know what I mean? I've learned so much there. So it's pretty special to me, really. Mullock Moor, it's probably one of the best waves in the world. It handles pretty much any size, you know, and once it gets over 10 feet, and it's a huge barrel. It's down the line, it's not just a drop into a channel, you know, it's a full-on ride. A lot of times when we're out at Mully, heavy squalls come through. Hail, rain, heavy wind, you know. Um, some of the most intense weather in the world. Everything about surfing progressively in Ireland is a challenge. Like, you get cold quickly. You gotta be committed, definitely really committed to surf that wave. Because, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll pound you. It's, <laughs> it's heavy. Whatever Mother Nature throws at it, it's gonna hold it. You know, and that is exciting. And, and not only does it hold it, it just breaks heavier. And, and hollower, you know, it doesn't like fat out or like, you know, it just doesn't get easy, it doesn't get like more rolling takeoff, and, you know, it gets heavier. So, you know, you can probably surf 80 foot barrels out there, you know, like 100 foot barrels have ever got that big, you know, like it's just, it is the best big waste spot in Europe. Waves breach defences at around 7 o'clock. Fuck, it's big. It's, you can see the waves through the trees just smashing up against the cliffs down there. Well, there's no real let up today, I'm afraid. The heavy showers are taking through most of today. It's pretty big out there. A little bit nervous.
good waves, big barrels, fun, <laughs> cold. <laughs> Everyone else thinks we're lunatics, but we're uh, calculated lunatics. Oh, so cold. Oh, I got beaten up for one. It hit me so hard, I thought it would knock my balls off. With a lot of south in the direction of the Hercules swell, Mullagmore was not quite as big as these athletes had hoped for. But it was the next massive swell that would send shockwaves through the world's media, putting Andrew one step closer to his goal of riding the biggest wave on the planet.